Canada approving the first vaccine against COVID-19. Your reaction to this moment in time? This is a historic moment, and I'm, I'm just thinking about uh, when this whole pandemic started for us in Canada back in March, and even earlier that, a leader in the world, I was thinking, man, I didn't think a vaccine would come until maybe earliest end of 2021. So seeing this happening now is a surreal moment. I think that, as uh, Michael was saying, there's this uh, the starting pistol has now uh, gone off, and we're going to be seeing a lot of things happening in a short time in the next couple of months. Uh, talk about that. What are we going to see happen on the ground? You, you heard that David there uh, sharing the information he has from Health Canada and from what he, he's hearing from our political leaders. But on the ground, as a doctor that is there on the front lines, what are we going to be seeing over the next little while? Well, I mean, we're going to start to see the, these high-risk groups uh, attempted at getting vaccination. It's going to be a bit difficult uh, with the Pfizer, with all these uh, issues with the cold chain and getting it to the places that we need to get it to. But that said, I think we're going to be seeing other vaccines that are going to be um, uh, approved. And it's going to be a, basically waves and waves of mass vac vaccination campaign, the largest one in Canadian history. I think that we're, even though it's not going to be all Canadians at first, we're going to start to see an impact of this, I would say, by the springtime. Uh, the virus is still with us. We're they're going to have to do things like physical distancing, mask wearing, but as the, the year goes on, things will get better and some of this, these restrictions will be able to come off and we'll be heading towards a life that's more normal than what we were seeing in 2020. Uh, let's talk about the fact that this vaccine, we're expecting first delivery now. Now that Health Canada has just approved it, we're expecting first delivery next week, some uh, 249,000 doses. But right now on the ground, we're seeing this vaccine administered in the UK. How important is the, uh, the ground experience that's being uh, gained in the United Kingdom right now? How important is that going to be for Canada as we roll out this vaccine? It's very important. You know, uh, one slight advantage you have to doing things a bit later is you can look at what's happening around the world and take advice from that. And certainly we've seen there have been a couple of reports of anaphylaxis, it sounds like, in the UK. And they've made the statement about uh, not giving it to people with severe allergies. So that's something certainly that we'll be taking into consideration as well. And also just the logistics of the, you know, the lineups, uh, how you record these things. These are all things that we can look. What worked in the UK? What's not working? What can we learn from? And these are all things that we're going to be learning on the fly. This is the biggest campaign in Canadian history, or one of them at least, and I think that's important for us to learn from this and uh, try to really sharpen our approach over the next couple of weeks and months. Okay, so listen, uh, initially there's going to be two types of reaction to this. We're going to have people that are excited and people who are hesitant. I'm going to break that up right now, Dr. Chakrabadi, and begin with the people who are excited to hear this news. Still, we're only talking about uh, a vaccine amount that will be able to be administered to, uh, what, about 124,000 people in this country. Of course, many people uh, anxious to uh, break their isolation, many people uh, trying to get access to their loved ones in, in long-term care facilities. Uh, with this limited supply, uh, what do you say to people that are concerned that, you know, their, their loved ones are not going to be part of this first round and they are so anxious to see them in this uh, right, right now and as, as soon as possible? Yeah, I think that for, for uh, those people, we still have to hold on a bit longer. Obviously, the, the vaccine rollout is going to take some time. But that said, you know, we're going to see um, uh, ongoing uh, incremental improvements in our lives over the, the course of 2021. But yeah, now is not the time that we want to start going out and having big concerts or big get togethers. We have to be patient. But remember, the vaccine is here. And this is a moment that we thought that wouldn't come for uh, in, in certain situations until the end of 2021. But, you know, I, I'm one of the people that are excited. I do think that the initial rollout will have some uh, impact of helping to ease the strain on the hospital system. And that's going to be a really big thing for Canadians. But overall, I think that we still need to have some patience. It'll take time, but it is coming. Now, again, the flip side of that are those that hear this news and will be hesitant. We already know that there's a good number of Canadians who say they don't want to be among the first to take this vaccine. They want to see how it affects others first and perhaps are, are a bit turned off the vaccine given uh, the news of uh, the, the allergic reactions that we've seen in the UK. What do you say to people who are not going to want to take this vaccine? I completely understand the hesitancy. It's a new product, and you know, we're hearing all these uh, reports coming out of the UK. We have to remember that any of these reports, right now there's a microscope on them, so anything, we're going to hear about them. But when you look at the trial, there are up to 21,000, if not more, people who got the vaccination, and usually serious events happen within the first couple of months, and there's data that we have since April. We really have not seen very many. Less than 1% of people had any serious reactions. 
Of course, there's going to be some local site reactions, some fatigue, some low-grade fevers. These things are expected with vaccinations, and there are, are going to be some side effects, but the vast majority of them are mild. So I understand I'm going to be one of the first people to get this. When I get it, when it's my turn, I'm, I'm very, very happy that I've seen so far. I'm... I'm uh, uh, okay with it. Of course, we don't have the long-term data. That's going to come. But for the most part, what we're seeing, it looks pretty safe. And, and, and I'm uh, going to be right up there to get the vaccine when it's my turn. Yeah. And, you know, running out of time, but one last question to you, because you alluded to it. And there are those that may think, okay, the vaccine is here. Therefore, we don't have to be as strict with our protocols and our guidelines. Uh, what do you say to that? I think that we have to be careful about that. The, vac the uh, virus is still with us. And yes, we are going to see relaxing of restrictions as the year goes on. But right now, we still want to abide by the physical distancing, minimize your con minimizing your contacts, wearing masks indoors and washing your hands. That's going to be part of us for the next couple of months. We still have to remember that it's going to be a gradual process. Dr. Chakrabadi, thank you for this. Appreciate the time. Thanks, Mike. Take care.